Hey guys, it's Dr. Childs here. Today we're going to be talking about whether or not the thyroid gland can grow back. So I get this question a lot. Patients, especially those patients who are taking thyroid medication, they want to know, is it ever possible uh, for them to be able to get off of that thyroid medication? Is it ever possible for the thyroid gland that they have in their body to regenerate naturally, to increase in volume, increase in size, and to start doing the things that it used to, meaning pumping out thyroid hormone? So we're gonna talk about this, we're gonna dive into conditions where that may be possible and then conditions where that is definitely not possible. So if you don't know me, I'm Dr. Childs, I'm an internist, and I specialize in treating patients with thyroid conditions, helping people with hormone imbalances, and of course, helping people lose weight. But today we're gonna to be talking about the thyroid gland, as I mentioned. So specifically, we're gonna be talking about whether or not the thyroid gland can grow back. So let me just say right off the bat that the thyroid gland cannot grow back probably in the way that you are thinking, okay? So it's not possible under certain conditions, especially let's say if your thyroid, thyroid has been surgically removed, there's no way that that thyroid gland will grow back. It does not have regenerative capacity like um, your liver per se. So if you take a portion of the liver out, that can grow back. That's one of the few organs in the body which can actually regenerate. Other organs like such as your heart or your brain, um, if they get damaged or if a part, piece of them gets taken out, there's no way for that tissue to grow back. Now, there are some therapies that they're working on, stem cell therapies and things like that. So that this might be subject to change in the future, but as of right now, available to the public, it is not possible, regardless of what therapy you have, for pieces that have been surgically removed from the thyroid gland to grow back. Now, does that mean all hope is lost? No, not necessarily, because I want to uh, distinguish between two important things. One is the difference between damaged thyroid cells and the other is destroyed thyroid cells. So if your thyroid has been completely destroyed, if those cells, remember your thyroid is just made up of a lot of different cells, right? All these cells. If they have been completely removed, meaning they're damaged and they're not repairable and they're just gone out of the body, they cannot come back. But if you have a thyroid cell which has been damaged, meaning the integrity is still there, um, it hasn't been completely removed or, or uh, destroyed as I mentioned here, it is p potentially possible for you to salvage these type of glands, so or these type of cells. So we're talking about the difference between damaged and destroyed. So what does that look like clinically? What does that mean to you? So obviously we'll talk about the destroyed in just a second. I'll talk about those people. If they've had these conditions, it's just not possible for the gland to grow back. But what about these people who have, what type of conditions result in damaged thyroid tissue? So the first and probably biggest is Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Now this is an autoimmune disease of the thyroid gland, wherein your body is actually attacking through immune cells and destroying parts of your gland over time. But that's the key. It takes a long time for this to occur. So if you start up here with 100% thyroid gland, you're slowly losing thyroid gland as you go along. And before any gland tissue is completely destroyed, it's first damaged, at least in Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So the goal here, if you have Hashimoto's, is to prevent the destruction of the thyroid gland and to reverse the damaged thyroid cell tissue or thy thyroid cells that are in your thyroid gland. Now that is possible. I have other videos talking about that. Um, things like even laser therapy, low level light therapy or low level laser therapy, abbreviated LLLT. I have a video talking about that. Can potentially help reduce the inflammation in Hashimoto's. Supplements can do this. Changing your diet can. Reducing that immune destruction of the gland will also fix some of those damaged cells. So if you have Hashimoto's, the earlier you catch it, the better. Now, don't be confused because we will also be talking about Hashimoto's down here. You probably can't see what I just underlined, but I'll be talking about conditions or at least time frames wherein um, if you have Hashimoto's, it may be too late for you to salvage your gland. So be aware of that. It will, it will, uh, Hashimoto's will make an appearance in both of these categories. So early to mid-stage Hashimoto's falls into the damage category and therefore can those cells can be salvaged. Another group would be anybody with thyroiditis. So thyroiditis just means inflammation of the thyroid gland. So one of the most common versions of this is postpartum thyroiditis, but you could get it from even minor radiation exposure. You could get it from damage like trauma. You know, if you get in a car accident and something hard hits your neck, those type of things result in damage to the cells and they can be um, salvaged. So if, you, if you're in that damaged but not destroyed area from any sort of inflammatory condition or thyroiditis, remember there's lots of types of thyroiditis, then of which Hashimoto's is one, by the way, then you, you'll be okay. So you can salvage some of those cells. All right, but what about conditions where it's just not possible? So let's talk about these conditions. Now, these are conditions which result in permanent thyroid gland destruction or removal. 
And if you have, if you fall into any of these categories, it is not possible for you to regrow your thyroid gland. Now that doesn't mean you can't feel better. Okay. So I don't want you to be depressed about the fact that your gland, you know, is not going to come back. That doesn't mean you can't feel better. You can feel better if you do the right therapies, which take the place of what your thyroid gland is doing. Namely the use of thyroid medication, the right types of thyroid medication, using natural therapy, supplements, diet, exercise, stress reduction, you name it. So you still can feel better, but it's always going to be harder if you fit into any of these categories down here, simply because of what's happened to the thyroid gland. No matter what, if the thyroid gland has been removed or destroyed, if you are counting on humans, meaning like doctors, to provide you with medications to try and match what the thyroid is doing, we're just not as good as the thyroid gland, okay? Um, whether you believe in a designer or evolution, both of those things are just superior to whatever man is capable of doing with thyroid medication. So it's never gonna be the same, but you can still feel good. So what conditions am I talking about? Now, the first is thyroid surgery, which we call thyroidectomy, okay? So if you are post-thyroidectomy, meaning your thyroid has been surgically removed or taken out of your body, then there's just, there's no way to get that thyroid gland to grow back. Now, what can happen is if you have a hemithyroidectomy, H-E-M-I, and then thyroidectomy. So that just means that half of your, or, or at least a portion of your thyroid gland has been removed. In that case, the remaining thyroid gland tissue that is still there can actually grow bigger. It cannot regrow, okay, but it can enlarge. The existing cells can enlarge. That's called hypertrophy. Um, those thyroid gland cells can enlarge and may take some of the, some of the place of the missing thyroid gland, but that's only if half or less really of your thyroid gland has been removed. If you have more than half of your thyroid gland, meaning more than 50% removed, you're, you're going to need thyroid medication, uh, most likely. Okay. For most people, at least in my experience, they do a lot better than that. So if it's been surgically removed, that's number one. Number two, another common treatment. Oh, by the way, thyroidectomy is commonly used to treat things like thyroid or, um, thyroid cancer and hyperthyroidism, and in rare cases, sometimes Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So if you have hyperthyroidism, you'll notice that most of the people with hyperthyroidism end down um, in this category here. So that's number one, thyroidectomy. Number two is anybody who has undergone what we call radioactive iodine ablation, or in other words, you have irradiated your thyroid gland with radioactive iodine. Now, as it sounds, obviously, radiation is very damaging and caustic to your cells, and it destroys your thyroid gland. Now, the thyroid gland is still inside your body if you have radioactive iodine, but it's very shriveled and just shrunk up, okay? But the result is the same, it's non-functioning. So whether it's been surgically removed or ablated with radioactive iodine, the result is the same. There's no growing back, it's been permanently damaged in this case, and you're gonna be reliant upon thyroid medication for the rest of your life. But again, same, same thing with thyroidectomy. Even if you are post-RAI, or radio radioactive iodine, you still have some hope to feel better. Okay, so don't, I don't want, again, I don't want to depress you there. And then lastly, I'll hold this up so you can see this last one here. We're talking about end stage Hashimoto's. So if you have had Hashimoto's usually for 10 to 20 years, by that, usually 20 plus, let's say, um, it can occur faster. I've seen it occur as quickly as five to 10 years. So this isn't, you know, this is the ballpark. It's just an estimate here. But if you let Hashimoto's, which I talked about here, remember, if you let it go without treating the autoimmune aspect, without trying to reduce immune function and trying to prevent the destruction of your thyroid gland, eventually it will do what it's trying to do. And that is completely destroy your thyroid gland. So if it is, if it is allowed to go for a significant period of time, like I said, somewhere between 20, 10 and 20 plus years, you will end up with a shriveled thyroid gland that is non-functional and can no longer be salvaged. So if you're listening to this and you've had Hashimoto's or were told that you have Hashimoto's, let's say 20 years ago or something like that, you may fall into this category where it's no longer possible to salvage your thyroid gland tissue, even though you have a condition which is normally uh, salvageable, okay? So, but that's only in the last and end stages of Hashimoto's. It doesn't happen in the early stages. In fact, mid to meet, you know, moderate sort of stages, that's the ideal time to prevent this destruction and treat it just when you have the damaged cells. So again, I'm sorry if you have these three conditions, these three are conditions, again, thyroidectomy, RAI, and end-stage Hashimoto's, these are the ones where you cannot do anything about your thyroid gland. You'll be reliant upon thyroid medication for the rest of your life. But if you have any of these conditions, you still have some potential to salvage that thyroid gland tissue. And let me say here, I would strongly recommend that you do whatever is in your power to try and salvage your thyroid gland tissue before it becomes destroyed or before it is necessary to remove it. As anyone who has their thyroid removed will attest, it becomes very hard to manage your thyroid medication dosing. It's hard to sort of feel back to 100%. It's much easier if you prevent these things from happening. Now, again, it may not be possible. If you have thyroid cancer, 
you'll have to have it removed most likely under most scenarios. Sometimes you can get away with a partial thyroid removal, um, but there are just some conditions where you're going to have to have your thyroid removed. But if possible, start here. Try to prevent that destruction from occurring um, by stopping the damage. So the, the bottom line is, can the thyroid gland regrow? The answer is generally not, at least in the way most people think. However, there are conditions where you can salvage some thyroid gland, damaged thyroid gland tissue. So if you have any questions about this, if you're wondering where do I fit in on this, uh, on this spectrum or in these categories, you can leave your comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, by the way, if you have general hypothyroidism, this really isn't um, an issue for you unless it's caused by Hashimoto's. So just realize that if you have regular hypothyroidism, you don't really need to worry about the destruction of the thyroid gland um, like somebody who with Hashimoto's would. So if you have any questions about that, leave them in the comment below. Um, and if you haven't already, make sure that you download my free thyroid PDF resources. I have tons of information all designed to help thyroid patients. You can get those for free um, in the link below. I have tons of those resources available to you. And otherwise, that's all I have for you guys, and I will see you in the next one.